Hey there everyone. So in this video I'll be showing you how to locate and remove old Google My Business listings. For example, if you have duplicates or if you have previously moved and you didn't verify before you moved, I'm going to show you how to find your listings and to get rid of them. So I'll show you exactly what to do using my own name because I have one that I need to take care of. So You'll notice if you type in your business name, my business name is my name in this case. So if I click it, it shows me my proper one right now. However, I did have a previous address before I moved that I never changed before I made the move, unfortunately. So it doesn't show up when you type in your, your regular business name. If you do that, it shows your primary one. If you want to find an old one, you'll have to type in your address with it. So you can write your business name and your old address. And it might come up here, should come up here. And now it's going to show you your old one. And you'll see this in my old listing, my old address, and my old phone number, and all the information I previously put. Now, if you go and claim your business, the problem is it is your business profile that you listed. However, in order to do that, you can write I am authorized. Fine, let's keep going. But you're going to you're going to come up with to a problem. Okay. The problem is that in order to verify, you have to use your phone or your old address, which if you don't have the same phone number, or you can't send mail to your old address, then you can't verify this. If you do have the same phone number listed, then that's no problem. You can take control of that. If you don't have your same phone number listed, then the problem is that you can't take control to get rid of this one. So we'll close that. We'll go back here. What you need to do is suggest an edit. And up here you say places permanently moved or closed or has never existed. So you'll hit yes. And you can write close, never existed, private, or moved elsewhere. <clears throat> then you type in your current address. And then hit submit. Okay. Now you don't have control of it anymore. What Google is, it's submitted to Google, and Google will merge the listings or transfer it over to you when it decides to do so. And that's what to do if you have an old listing that you can't verify anymore because you don't have the same phone number or you don't have access to the mail anymore. Okay, so now that I've done that address change, I can go back into the Google My Business setting and you're going to see now that that old address here, 251 Sedgefield Avenue, that I had before is in my account. So what we need to do here is we don't need it here anymore. We just need to get rid of this. So what we'll do is we're going to hit manage location. Okay, we're going to go back up to here on the three bars up top left. And we're going to go to settings. If we go all the way down to the bottom, we can hit delete page. Okay. Now this is only going to be deleting that one associated account. It's not going to be deleting everything in your Google. It's just going to do that one location. So you can press all these check marks, hit delete account. And you'll see that now that one is gone. I also had another double that I need to get rid of. So I'll do the same thing. Manage location. Come back up here. Go to settings. And go scroll down to the bottom. Delete. It might ask you to sign in again. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 
and we're going to delete so now you'll see that I only have one proper one for me and I have another one of someone that I am managing and that's basically it so we took an old listing that wasn't verified at a different address with a different phone number we associated it with our existing account then we went and we deleted that account and there's a few steps to do but that's basically how you get rid of old listings and cleaning up your Google Maps and cleaning up your Google My Business. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please ask below or go to my website and you can leave comments if this video is within my article that I've published.